Hey everybody, and it is Hannah from the Doodlebug, and welcome to our What's New Live at the Doodlebug today. So today I've got a couple orders to show you that came in, but I also have some pages that I wanted to show you as well for a class kit that I've got that I finally got put together. Um, and then that way, if you would like some of these, these are very limited. Um, I'll kind of go through everything that you're going to get in the kit as well. And then that way, if we do run out of kits, I'll let you know what I would need to substitute. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So this class kit is going to be using 49th and Market Holiday Wishes. And you've actually got six pages. I did five. The last one's kind of a bonus page to show you kind of a fun way to just use up some of your scraps that you've got to make a super cute little page. Um, so I'm going to go through the six pages um, and kind of explain what you're going to be getting as I go through them. So first thing you're going to be getting in this collection kit is, or in this kit, is the collection kit. So you're going to have all the papers from this line, and then you're also going to get the beautiful laser cut. So you're going to get a package of the laser cuts. This is one of the pages here. And here I used even more of, oh, that's upside down though. Here I used even more of the laser cuts from this collection. So you're going to get a collection kit. You're going to get lasers. You're also going to get a pack of the frame sets. So they do different colors of frame sets. This one is using the tidal wave. So you've got blues and greens in there. And then you also get these great chipboard frames in there as well. And then finally, the last thing you're going to get, and this is the one thing that um, I may need to substitute for you guys, um, are some of the rub-ons. So again, these are some of the laser cuts there. Another one of the page. Well, I think I just had them all upside down. Should just flip the whole thing. Here's some of the rub-ons. Laser. This is not string. That's one of the laser cuts. Is that not crazy beautiful? And then, last, yep, I did. I just had them all upside down. Here's the last page that I did. So five pages. Um, your class kit actually has six, though, so you've got a bonus one in there. So kind of going through. So page one. There's the second page. You can see kind of the depth and detail on those. These are $41.99. There's that one. And that one. So there's five pages there, six pages total in the class. You're going to get a collection kit a pack of the laser cut elements, a pack of the frames, which I have lots of frames left over to do more fun stuff with, but here's one of them too, so you can see some of them have a little color variation to them as well, and then also a set of rub-ons for this. The only thing you're gonna need to add is, of course, your own tools, adhesive, and a sheet of white cardstock to do that bonus page. So I only have, I think, four kits left that I can do. So if you want to snag those, please let me know ASAP so I can get everything pulled and assembled for you. Um, because I know one of the other things that's limited are the laser cuts. The company is out of the laser cuts as well. And um, I don't even know if I can get more collection kits, but I know I tell you guys all the time, 49 and market. I mean, it's a one run and, and done. So you got to snag it while you can. But anyway, wanted to let you guys know that class kit is ready to go. So there's that's pretty fun for today. That was one of the things I worked on on my, my Make It Mondays at home. Somebody told me to call it Make It Mondays, and I love that. All right, next up, we got in an order from Impression Obsession. This is their limited edition stamp set. They are doing one new stamp set per month. I'm going to flip this over so you can see kind of how big these are. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, no. This is the Winnie the Pooh one in my, um, oh no, we better check them all. Miss Lissette, when you go back up, there's a pile of these up on the register. Will you check the back? It should match what's on the front. When I flip this over, it is the Winnie the Pooh set from last month. So, okay, well, if you want these, you let me know because obviously I'm going to have to call in and have them ship me some stuff because what is in here is not what's supposed to be. This is actually um, last month they did the really cute Winnie the Pooh set, um, and I can still get those. Obviously, I've got a set right here. 
Oh, 49 in market. You got it, Donna. I will do it. Um, but I know some of you pre-ordered this set, so um, I need to call them and get these back in for you because that is not what they sent me. But anyway, so every month, they're all Winnie the Pooh. Okay, well, so I have four, four or five Winnie the Poohs ready to go if anybody needs those, and I will be getting these back in. So once a month, they do a limited run, and then when she's out, she's out, um, and she's doing a new set every month. So this month was the Thanksgiving one for October. I just sent out November, I think, the other day, too. I'm trying to remember what November's was. Um, and then the Winnie the Pooh one was for September. Kind of sent those both out at the same time. So we'll get these back in stock. So I guess they really aren't in for you guys. So, um, shoot, I think I mailed one out today too. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Well, well, bummer, bummer. I'm going to have to figure all this out. Oh, goodness. What, what a pickle I'm in now. Um, other ones, though. Okay, so other ones that just came in. This one here is called Christmas Banking. Christmas Baking. We've got Tis the Season for Baking. Holidays are what you bake them. We Whisk You a Merry Christmas. I Just Want to Bake Stuff and Watch Christmas Movies. Baking Christmas Memories. Mixing Up Some Christmas Cheer. So this is, if you're shopping online, it's CM1150 Christmas Baking. So I just got that stamp set in. This next one is called Christmas Coffee Sayings. Have yourself a merry little coffee. Dear Santa, I'm sorry for what I said before coffee. All I want for Christmas is coffee. Fa la 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 latte. Wishing you hot coffee and Christmas cheer. Here's a holiday hug and a mug. Now, I know a lot of us give little gifts in mugs or we give cocoa sets and, you know, little coffee K-cup sets. Won't these be perfect to put on the tags? So I think this will be really, really cute. And I know a lot of you, like independent consultants, you're always doing little gift sets. And a lot of times there's coffee or a hot cocoa thrown in there. I know years ago, my gosh, like three lives ago in college, I sold Mary Kay to get myself through school. And every Christmas I would do like a little um, satin hand set. And, you know, a lot of times we would, we would throw a hot cocoa in there, just something like that to kind of, you know, fill that little gift mug up and then do some little satin hands, and this would be perfect in there. Oh, Becky, I've got it for you. Becky wants the coffee sentiments. I'm pulling that now. Yes, ma'am. Um, let's see, that's the baking one again. And then the last one we got in from them is called Fall Sayings. So we've got Autumn Blessings, Happy Fall, Happy Thanksgiving, Gobble Till You Wobble, Happy Turkey Day, So Full of Thanks, and then some nice kind of blacked out or solid, I should say, solid leaves on there. So that was impression obsession order. And the next one I'm gonna show you was from our from our distributor, so from the warehouse. Now this one we got in, but I forgot to show it to you guys yesterday. We got so much new 49 in the market that this just forgot to get set back here. So this is part of that countryside line that they did. And this is the six by eight rub on set. I'm gonna open this one up and show you. Because I know sometimes it is kind of hard from the back and then that way kind of gives you an idea of what her rub on sets look like and they're all very similar meaning she usually will do um, a texture a couple texture sets and I'll show you what I mean by the ones by texture sets a couple word ones all right so here this is one of them so you've got some of your your foul in there you've got some good little flowers that kind of have a watercolor look to them this would be a texture set to me so with this one since they have um, chicken wire in the set you've got a lot of chicken wire in with your texture really pretty flower one they're not perfect they're supposed to look very watercolory here's this one this one is another kind of good texture set more fowl, poultry, more poultry. I don't know if they're really fowl because I don't know if that's just birds in general. Maybe I shouldn't use my animal sayings if I'm not for sure about them. And then we got a good word one as well too. 
So if you love the look at that and you missed yesterday's, yesterday's live, definitely check it out because um, I went through that whole line and showed you what was in in that in that line it's actually still we're working on putting it all out right now but that is the countryside set and then across from me right there is the plum grove Ooh, that one is honestly my favorite love love that one all right some other things we got from 49 and market so we're having a lot of success with the tickets and also the film strips so i added another color scheme in those so these are salsa so we got in the salsa film strips and we also got in the salsa tickets. So you can see you've got wide tickets in here. I'll show you how big that roll is. It's a nice size roll. There's kind of the tickets there. Okay. And then we've got smaller tickets here. Just fun little ephemera for you to tuck behind things and add some texture to your creations, add a little lump and chunk. And these do have that little perfor, oh, I'm getting camera, Hannah. These do have the little perforation on there as well. So you can tear them apart and they really do look like tickets. And then here are the salsa film strips. Nice little pack of those. Another film strip in. This one here is not a new color. This was one we sold out of right away. This is Lagoon. So we got the Lagoon film strips back in stock. More stuff from 49 and Market in here. Restock on the Viking rub ons. And again, you can see, just like I was saying with the countryside ones, you know, she's always got some texture ones in there. She's got a word one in the set. This one here has some beautiful butterflies and watercolor flowers as well. If you love the colors in this one and you have not seen this line yet, it's called Viken, V-I-K-E-N. So you can go onto our website and check out the rest of the Viken line. Such a pretty line. And I know yesterday we got a few more pieces of that in. So, I mean, it's still, still selling great, even though it's been here, what, maybe about a month or so. It's still selling really well. Um, restocked on bike and rub -ons. You got it, my friend. We are restocking on some of the other rub -ons that 49 and Market came out with. This one is Blendables 01. So you've got a flower rub -on, on the front and then a good kind of, again, texture, what I call texture rub -on, on the back. So there's 01. There's the other one. Here we go. This one here is Blendables 02. So again, really pretty flower rub-ons. And you don't even have to do this thing in an entirety. Let's say you don't want that on there. Just don't rub it on. Kind of, you can cut around it and put exactly what you want. And then you can save those fun little um, splats for something else. So we've got red flowers on the front and then kind of, you know, textures and cream splats on the back. Okay, I think that's it for 49 and Market. So, all right, let's just go through some other stuff we got in. Little Snap album. This is a six by eight uh, mini album binder. It is a D-ring. Um, what makes these different than some of the other ones that Simple, or that Simple Stories does? Like, I'm gonna move you up here. Like that one right there. So that black one with the craft cover. So those type of albums, you can actually kind of do your own thing on the front. Not that you can't on here. You can still add stuff. But it does have that, you know, almost, um, you know, two-thirds of it being blank. And those do not have, or those come with stuff on the inside. These have got nothing on the inside, just so you know. This one here is just your binder. So if you come in and you pick up one of these off the shelf and you want to make a mini book with it, please make sure you you grab inserts, protectors, whatever you want for the inside of this because these don't come with any, any guts. It's a completely blank binder. And I hate for people to get home with these, open it up and realize it didn't come with anything. Now it does say pocket pages sold separately, but let's be honest, most of us don't read that. I don't read what comes in stuff a lot of times until I get it home and I'm like, oh shoot, didn't even realize. I should have read a little better. 
So just a little heads up. Um, these are fun though, because I do like that they have the little stripes on them. And yes, you definitely can put stuff on the front of these as well. Just keep in mind, you need to add your own inserts for those. So that was a restock from Simple Stories. Another restock from Simple Stories in here is the bits and pieces for their zoo line. This line is called Into the Wild. This probably looks familiar to you because we do sell a lot of the card kits for this line because they're so stinking fun. It's got that um, see you later alligator and your sloth some, but this is a really cute little zoo line. So if you are liking the look of that, again, go on to our website and you can just type into the wild and see what all pops up for that one. Here's an oldie but a goodie here. I just checked on the wall the other day and we were out of this um, stamp set. I have no idea how long it was even missing, probably a while because this one is such a good one. So this is Swirly Birthday Verses um, and it's by Phil, Phil Marlin. Yep, Phil Marlin. And I don't even know if he has other stamps. I probably need to see if he, this guy has other stamps because we do so well with this one because it's a really good inside your card verbiage stamp set. I'm going to flip it over so you can kind of see how they come. So you, they're, you've got your main one and then your little one is separate there. So extra special wishes are being sent to you today to help make your birthday amazing in every way. And then you could just stamp happy birthday right underneath it, but know that happy birthday is a separate stamp. Um, your birthday is a special day. It's going to be great. This card was handmade just for you to help you celebrate. Have an awesome day is separate. And then two smaller ones here. Very best wishes on your birthday. Wishing you a very happy birthday. So just really good sentiments for birthdays because one, it's hard to find good inside the card verbiage. And two, sometimes, you know, you think, hmm, how many years have I sent this same sentiment to this certain friend? So it is nice to kind of switch them up a little bit as well, too. I had somebody looking for a sympathy stamp set the other day, and I realized that we only really had one in stock. Um, so I beefed up the sentiment uh, the sympathy section a little bit again so you're going to be seeing a few things coming in the next orders this next week um, so this one here now this one's kind of neat it's a one big long strip so you can stamp it and then just cut it apart which is kind of kind of cool so we've got with sympathy thinking of you sending love um, every life leaves a trail of beautiful memories sorry for your loss heartfelt sympathy thinking of you and your family our thoughts are with you the love you shared will never fade with deepest sympathy holding you in my heart. So great variety stamp set here for sure. And you could even stamp this down as a one big piece down the side of the card as well too. It would be really pretty if you were doing like, um, like a tone on tone effect as well. Meaning like do blue paper and stamp with a little bit of a darker blue ink or use your watermark, your Versamark watermark pad and get, you know, just a couple shades darker. So this would be really pretty to make a subtle background for a sympathy card as well. Still in that sympathy mode. So this is gonna be pretty much your whole card front here. So you can kind of see how big, yeah, it goes this way, how big it is. Of course, we're reading it back, backwards. And this says with sympathy. And then here you can see what it's gonna look like. Um, it is kind of bigger, so it's either going to be like an A6 or a slimline card. This is going to be perfect for your slimlines. And it's got that shadow with it too. So it's going to do the with sympathy, and then you can cut it in another color and get that shadow. And this is by Picket Fence, and this one is a new one for us. All right, next up, a couple other little... Well, shoot, I'm missing one. I, I know I've got another one of these in but i for, oh, nope i forgot to bring it back so i'm gonna have to grab that one here so i got in a couple little word dies this one here says a gift and for you two separate little dies so these are going to be really fun for your cards but also for tags you could even put this on the envelope as well too uh starla i need that which one my friend which one do you need there's a time lag so i never know um, which which one you're wanting so just let me give me a little description of what you're wanting but this one here so the sympathy one the stamp or the die sorry that's how bad my time lag is sometimes I'm not for sure which one you wanted so the, a gift for you 
die. And then, like I said, I've got another one that just came in. We'll go up and we'll check that one out. A little four by six snap flip books. The green, I've never had the green in actually. I, um, I, I had to, I had to enter it into the system. So flip books are super fun. This is one of the four by six ones in green. Just restocking some adhesive here. Picket fence, perfect. Thank you, my dear. B stickers. This is a fun little sticker sheet. It's got all kinds of cute little bees. I'm gonna kind of look at even on the little detail on their wings. Are they not so stinking cute? So these are fun. These are even fun for your envelopes. I've got one one guy that comes in, and you know, I haven't seen him in a while. So hopefully I I sometimes, you know, if I have a customer that only comes in, you know, once or twice a year, I kind of worry about him when I don't see him for a while. But he loves to put stickers on his envelopes, even on his bills, he said. Because how many people see his envelopes throughout the day? And he said if he can just make one or two people smile with his stickers on his envelope envelopes, then that he's done a good thing for the day. And I thought, you know what? What a great attitude to have. And I, and I think if we more of us were kind of like that, just thinking how can we make two people smile today, the world would be a much better place. You know, because once you start thinking about others rather than yourself and you can make others happy. So I, I love whenever he comes in and he's looking for stickers and things like that for his envelopes. I did stock him up pretty good last time. So maybe, maybe he's just still doing good with them. All right got some really fun little vinyl stickers for you guys so these next ones here are vinyl so they're kind of waterproof i had to get a little drink there because i still get my my lovely lovely cough when i've been talking a while thank you covid um so these are total throwback cartoons and of course i mean you can put them on they'd be really fun like on on one of your thermoses or your little tumblers. You can stick them on your laptop. You can just put them on a notebook, wherever you want. They're $3.59 each. And I've got Tom and Jerry. I've got Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so fun. And these are a waterproof vinyl. So, I mean, you, technically you could put on your car. It's not going to last as long in the elements, but you could, because this one would be, you know, here I'm just talking about being nice to people and being kind, and then I show you this one, the You're Despicable. And I like it, too. I'm thinking this would even be cute on the back of a car. <laughs> Again, I'm, I, I, I'm very contradictory of myself, even. So, we've got these three little guys that we added to our vinyl sticker section. And then last thing here, until I go up to find that, that one more um, die set, these are stainless steel pins. And yes, I just showed you some yesterday. Those were the 30 mil, or no, 40 mil yesterday, and these are the 30 mil back in stock. So again, a couple things that you need to be looking for whenever you're looking at your pins. And what, what do you do with these, if you're asking? Now you can do all, now you can use this in regular jewelry making. A lot of people will use these though in the top of their glue bottle in the tip. And then that way it knocks the glue back down and you just keep it in there. Um, and then that way it, it's not clogged when you go to use it next time. But a couple things that you need to make sure you're looking for is that they're stainless steel. If you just put a regular pin in there over time um, and not a lot of time, it's gonna start to rust. So stainless steel is what you need. And then if you go on to, just go and Google um, decorative glue pins um, or glue eye pins, you're going to see so many cute little charms and danglers come up because people are taking these and then attaching um, chain to the top of that little eye pin right there. And then they are dangling beads and charms and all kinds of fun stuff off of the top of this. And then it becomes like glue jewelry. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It is glue jewelry and so, so cute. So our packs of, this one has 30, no, let me see here, 30 millimeters. Let me see how many are in here. Oh, a hundred. Holy sweet bejesus. A hundred? So you get a hundred of these for four fifty nine. So you could start your own um, glue dangle, dangle business with one pack of these. But yeah, how, how fun would that be to make a couple for yourself, a couple for your friends? It would be really, really cute. We've got little charms and things like that in the store. Pick up some beads somewhere. 
shoot, go to your jewelry box. And I bet you've got some stretch bracelets that are broke that you haven't done anything with or just some jewelry that's not really trendy anymore. Bust them apart and make some little danglers. How fun would that be? So that is what we've got for you today. But I do want to go up and we're going to check out that one last die. So we're going to walk on up. While I'm walking up there, is there a particular section anybody wants to see or anybody got any questions for me? We're going to walk along the huge stamp wall here. Still going, still going. All right, let's see here. And let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Yes. Here is the other one that I got in. So this one is, says, happy birthday to an amazing friend. And there's kind of the size of it on the back. So that was the other one that I just got in that I forgot to bring to the back. So, okay, that's kind of it. Short and sweet for today. Um, if you pre-ordered one of the um, Gnome for Christmas mini books, I got almost all my collection kits in for that. So I'm going to start getting those out for you guys um, tomorrow. I think I was too short. So those are still coming on another order just because I had some people that signed up for that a little bit later. So Gnome mini book class kits will be going out. Just trying to think what else. Um, we do have a class tomorrow um, that Dolly is doing with Christmas cards and Penny Black. That's completely full. So that's going to be exciting to have some people back in the class area tomorrow creating and having fun. Um, what else? December late night crop has been posted. So if you didn't see that, make sure you check that out. There's still room for you in the November retreat. If anybody wants to join me for that. And um, that might be it that I have for you guys today. So I do have two boxes that I'm working on, three boxes up there that I'm working on as well. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get a couple mo more of those checked in. Oh, big news though, hold on. If you were in the secondhand scrap sale, that's what we worked on today. Your credits, they're ready. I mean, seriously. Um, so I worked and I chunked the numbers, got all that taken care of. And because I did not get as many orders as I wanted to get checked in today, when Lisette came in, um, I didn't have anything for her to price or put out. So I had her go ahead and enter in all of your credits into the system, fill out your credit vouchers. So if you sold as a vendor in the secondhand scrap sale, Check your text. You should have gotten a text with what your total was um, that you sold for the sale. And then your voucher is here in the store ready for you to, to shop your little heart out and take some more goodies home. So that's that's exciting. That's kind of what we got done today because that does take quite a while to, to get all that figured out, entered in, and then filled out. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, again, I'm Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always shop us online at www thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, if you were on yesterday and you saw my boys were in here, we found like nothing for senior clothes pictures last night. It was it was fun to, to hang out with my guys. We went out to eat and all that good stuff. Um, but we found very, very little. So Jasper is kind of limited on a lot of clothing, especially for men in a single mom's price range. So we have some really nice men's stores, but um, they're 17 they're goobers. Um, they are hard on their clothes. So they, they do not get, you know, top of the line at all um, because they just, they're too young. They're not going to respect it. So, you know, we went to TJ Maxx, we went to Kohl's, we went to Glicks, and that's about all we got here. We went to Walmart, but, you know, even Walmart didn't have anything that they, that they liked. So it was kind of, kind of a bust, but Caden got new socks and he got a hoodie and Kyan got a hoodie. Um, so they got a few things, but yeah, my shopping trip was not was not you know great. We didn't we didn't score big for senior pictures, so we're we still got to figure something out. Maybe I'll be I don't like to shop online, but I may have to you know because I'm running out of time. So, all right, everybody, again, thanks so much. I will see you tomorrow with more goodies. Thanks so much. Bye.